Tour du Mont Blanc, one of the most iconic long-distance hiking routes in Europe. It encircles the Mont Blanc Massif, a stunning mountain range that straddles the borders of France, Italy and Switzerland. The route is approximately 170 kilometers with a total elevation gain of 10,000 meters. People come here to admire the picturesque alpine landscapes, charming villages and breathtaking views of glaciers, rocked peaks and lush valleys. I was fortunate to visit with my family, with my mom, dad and my two sisters, Gabby and Lena. With my family, we completed eight days, part of the TMB, from Trelleschamp to Cormier. In this eight-part series, I will be documenting all of the highs and lows and sharing with you our unforgettable journey through the heart of the Alps. Here's an overview of our day three from Les Uches to Le Contamine. We have started our morning in Les Uches. This is usually starting point of TMB for us day three. We took the cable car to Bellevue and from there we took the path to Col de Vosa. We took the easier variant which is mainly down the hill, not so challenging but definitely beautiful views on the way. We passed places like Le Champel, La Villette, Dresse until we reached Le Contamine which welcomed us with music and great atmosphere. And here are our highlights of the day. We got the first cable car in the morning from Les Uches to Bellevue, which cost us 17 euro per person, and the cable car saved us quite a steep walk and about 2-3 hours of journey. You know what? You're going to the mountains? Yes. Oh my god. No, 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 it's good. And then he takes the train and the to the mountains. Heavy bag, isn't it? Bag weight 20 kg, not recommended. The mornings are definitely not for Lena. She's not enjoying this. She's a little bit cranky, but thankfully the elephant saved the day. Yes. Oh, you're not arguing anymore because camera is in front of you, are you? Yes. <laughs> Day. Yes. Day. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning. We haven't even started walking, but we already stopped for coffee. Which is crazy. Yeah, yesterday we were meant to go to Brevent from like blank. However, what and happened? Lesos. We discovered that that bag was broken. So yesterday, instead of walking, we were shopping. <laughs> but now we got another backpack. Let's see if that one will manage to carry the weight. No, but it's not that. Lena likes to vlog. That's her part of documentary. <laughs> More time for more. This is the dry, it's the big, the top. This is the small key. The first is down, no stands. So we're on top of the Belfo. We are going to call the Bosa. Finally, 25 minutes, but I bet it's going to take us much longer than this. <laughs> Abby, tell me, what did you learn about the train? So they were building a train trucks up to Mont Blanc to get to the summit and get the elevator up to the summit but then the war started so they stopped and then they decided it was a crazy idea so they stopped at the glacier. The train is still in use, you can book yourself a ticket, it's a beautiful journey, we done that journey up to the glaciers, a uh, very nice, very nice journey and epic, epic, epic use. Look. We can go up to the Mont Blanc. All I can tell you, to the Mont Blanc is tiring. There's train what coming. about you? There's train coming. The morning coffee kicked in and now we are ready to explore and soak in the beauty. Check out this views. We were well behind mum and dad as we were keep stopping for pictures and trying to admire the place. 
and also not to rush the moment. I'm 400 meters down. It was a nice journey down the hill because it was pretty steep. And now we're gonna go to towards La Champelle. It says one hour journey, so probably for us might be two hours, especially with our stops, taking pictures, taking videos, and hopefully we can catch up with mom and dad soon. So this is how you build houses in Alps. This looks absolutely amazing though. Like charming village with charming houses. Like look at this. Look at this house is here. So we walked down the hill, finally arrived to Ponce. And you tell me how to pronounce it because I'm not good with the French. Beautiful views. And we're gonna stop for coffee now. Oh. Bonjour! <laughs> Lena, how was it? Good! Yes. Did you enjoy it? Yeah! Yes! yes. Daddy, daddy, sloppy! We're building the chick apple! Wow, wow! Mm -hmm. This was definitely a nice place for a break. Lena enjoyed rabbits and we had nice coffee with views. So this is where we are and this is where we're going, Le Champel. It says 45 minutes and after that we need to find another route again. Another route, yes. Gabby, are you ready? Yeah. Are we going? The scenery of alpine villages changed to a walk through the forest with a little bit more of elevation. Happy. Are you happy? Yeah! <laughs> Basically, when we stopped earlier on, we spilled some coffee on Lena's, Lena's elephant, which is called Alice. Alice, the elephant will have a shower where when, wherever we arrive and he's not gonna smell of coffee. Lena, tell me, what happened to elephant? And it's cola. Oh, okay. And what oh, are you gonna cold. do in Holiday House? <laughs> Can you see this dog? This one? <laughs> dog, this is a wolf. So now we need to be aware of wolves in Alps. Thankfully, we have not come across of any afterwards. So this is La Champelle. This is our village. Mountains in the background, timbered houses and flower-covered balcony make every corner a photo opportunity. After passing La Champelle, we walked mainly in the open with no shade and the days was pretty sunny and hot. And Lena struggled with the sun and at times did not want to walk. She would use any opportunity to have a break. Why do you want to go? Little water. Because you want to play in water? Yes. So you're not going? Daddy. Time to go. And that's how I managed to upset my little sister. We have a steep way up. What, what do we call it, all of us? Where have you been? Water. See you later. See you later. Bye. Today, we had frequent breaks to make Lena happy. The scenery was changing from the lush valleys to walks through forest. Despite of most of our journey being down the hill, we still had few challenging descents, which made our hike a little bit more exciting. And finally, we could see our destination getting closer to us. On our last leg, we attempted to get a bus to save us few kilometers walking on the straight road. But unfortunately, we were waiting on the wrong bus that we ended up walking. But what a greeting in Le Contamine. The music was playing from speakers on the streets. <laughs> so that was our day three of TMB. In total, we walked 14 kilometers through valleys, forests and charming villages. I hope this video has given you an idea of what to expect. And if you have any questions or feedback, pop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next adventure.